What's up guys, in this video we're checking out the Flywoo LR4 HD. I had a review come out a little over a year ago on the LR4 V2, and this was honestly one of the first long range drones that I flew that I really liked. So today we're taking a look at the newer HD version that is very similar, but this one comes with an O3 Air unit on board. <laughs> So in the box you get the drone, obviously, uh, mine came with the props already installed, but you do get a bag that has a couple extra props. You also get some arm braces and some spare hardware. Mine came with an ND filter on the O3 air unit, and this is an ND16. You also get the DJI O3 air unit user manual. You get a cute Flywoo sticker. You get an additional rubber, oh. Is this just a gift? Flywoo, is this just a gift for me? Or do you include this with every other drone? Mine came with this. It says gift on it. I don't know if they give this with every other, every drone, but. And you get a spare O3 air unit antenna, TPU piece. All right, let's go over a couple specs on this thing because I want to take this up to the mountains and test it out. The flight controller ESC stack on this is Flywoo's Goku F405 Pro Mini stack that has 40 amp ESCs and is plug and play with the O3 air unit on the back, so no soldering required if you do have to replace that. The motors are the same motors that came on the LR4 V2. Those are the NIN 1404 2750 KV motors. The propellers are 4024 Biblade props. In the back of the drone, you have this TPU piece that holds the GPS and a beeper. This beeper has its own battery, so when you unplug the battery, this is gonna continue to beep, so you will have to hold the button in order to stop that. But these two are pretty much essential for any long-range drone that you get. If it doesn't have these two, I wouldn't even consider it a long-range drone. So they've included both of these. The GPS is Flywoo's Goku GM10 Mini V3. Something that I'm just noticing, and hopefully you guys can see this, they actually put copper tape around the GPS wires and this helps get satellite lock um, pretty fast. If you don't ground out the copper tape, it doesn't work nearly as well as if you were to ground it. And I'm not really sure if they grounded it, I haven't taken this apart to really look, but regardless, they did put copper tape around the GPS wires. Underneath the O3 camera, we have a little TPU piece that's holding the TBS Crossfire receiver. This is the TBS version. Um, you can get this in a couple different versions. There's a plug and play option, an ELRS option, and an FR Sky option. All right, so in addition to putting some screws in these props before I go test this thing, I'm going to put the arm braces on. I'm going to plug this into the computer, make sure it's all set up properly and bound to my Mambo. I'm gonna plug in the O3 air unit, make sure that's up to date, and we should be good. So I actually have a project tomorrow morning that's up in the mountains, kind of close to the White Mountains up in Maine, and this drone is perfect to test there. We're going to be filming a drone tour for our property, and in addition to the standard drone tour, we're going to be getting some footage of the surrounding area and the mountains because this property is actually on a ski resort. So let's take this thing up to the White Mountains and see how it flies. <laughs>
All right. Reminds me a lot of the OG LR4 that I reviewed, but it's really nice to have the digital um, O3 air unit on board. They're advertising 30 minute flight times. I was seeing about 17 minute flight times, but then again, my lithium ion packs are over a year old. I was using these. These are Flywoo's um, 18654S packs. I was getting about 17 minutes on this. I think that if you had a brand new one, you would probably get more than 20 minutes. So I flew this thing about two miles away during my testing and I know I could push it further, but I was mainly focused on testing flight time for you guys. The LR4 V3, I think it is, or V2? I don't know, the, the one that I did a review on. I'll leave a link to it up here. That one I have pushed out to almost four miles. And since this one has the O3 on board and TBS, I'm confident that this can go even further. The tune on it is honestly, eh. It definitely needs some work. I was flying on a day with really minimal wind and it was actually bouncing around quite a bit when I was just trying to do straight continuous flight. Um, it felt like a four inch drone, whereas with the other LR4, it's actually very stable and locked in and feels more so like a seven inch long range drone. So I'm not really sure what changed tune wise, but I will probably be playing with the tune on this a little bit just to try to get it a little more stable. Otherwise, I do trust it, even though the tune needs some work, the LR4 line is an awesome long range option for anyone wanting a long range drone that can weigh in at under 250 grams. With the 18650, it's gonna be over, but when you start using a pack like this 720, or maybe a little bit lower than this, you can get this drone under 250 grams. With a battery like this, you won't see those 20 minute flight times. You'll probably get something like seven minutes, I'd guess six or seven minutes um, but you can get this under 250 grams which is cool so yeah that is the lr4 hd if this video helped you out make sure you subscribe to the channel for more fpv content leave the video a like and if you have any questions about the flywoo lr4 hd leave a comment down below